Welcome to Inspiring IT Leaders, where we feature top technology leaders and those amazing expressions they use to communicate, to teach, and to inspire. I'm Dan Roberts, your host of this series of five-minute high-impact micro videos. I am beyond excited to shine the light on the top digital and business leaders who are standout communicators. In this episode, we're once again featuring David Quirk, a four-time CIO who is now the Executive Vice President and CIO of Innova Health System. His incredible Davidisms are shaped by his people-first, business-first leadership philosophies. So let's listen in and learn more from David Quirk. One of the things that um, you know, we focus a lot in healthcare technology, but applies to, to, to many, many industries, is how we connect our team members, every single team member, to the work. And the work is not the network. The work is not the data center. It's not the health desk. It's the work that your organization does. In our case, we, you know, we help people stay healthy and we help people at the worst times and we help save lives. So in our industry, we connect every single team member to patient care um, and how we help save lives, uh, be it indirectly, sometimes more directly. But the work that we do is not about keeping a network up. It's not about um, you know, the best cybersecurity, although those, those things are important. The real work is the impact we have on the three or four million people that we, we help keep healthy in our community. And making sure that every team member feels connected to that work and connected to the outcome is, is the real value. And you know the, the the value proposition for you as an IT leader is helping your team members connect to the bigger picture, be it saving lives, be it um, in the industry you're in. But that's that's the work connecting your team members to the actual the the, the real work or the broader work, and that helps them feel more connected to your organization, your industry, and their role. They feel much more valued in their role than just keeping a network up. Then, you know, well, it's really important. That, but there's a, there's, a, there's a bigger story. And if you can connect your team members to the bigger story, your retention goes up, your ability to attract and retain talent goes up, your, your quality of your talent goes up, and people's commitment to your organization goes up. And it's much, much more uh, valuable to connect those team members to the to the real work in, in and as I mentioned in our case it's saving lives keeping people healthy but the same applies to just about any industry you've got to connect your team members to the broader work and make sure that they feel valued and appreciated in the broader picture of what we do such great uh, great teaching there you know it makes me think Liz Wiseman uh, great author her latest book is about impact players right. And in her research, she found that um, a lot of burnout today is not what we think it is. It's a lot of burnout is because people don't feel like they're having impact. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, I got to believe all those people on your team at Innova Health showing up today, knowing they're fixing people, helping people get healthier, saving lives. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good impact. Sure, um, we had a um, we had a, a a town hall with our. Our IT help desk folks. We've got 40 or 50 folks that do a phenomenal job of keeping uh, 24,000 team members connected and online and taking care of our patients. And one of our team members, completely unsolicited, shocked me. And uh, this team member said, I'm one step away from saving a patient life because we think. So think how connected that team member feels because that team member is talking to a physician or a nurse that's at a bedside that's trying to solve a problem, that's trying to get, trying to deliver care. And for that team member to say they're one step away from saving a life and feel that connected to the work, it's powerful. And you can apply that, you know, in healthcare, you can apply it in manufacturing, other industries, but connecting them to the work and making them, you know, their, you know, their them going home and saying, I had a call from Dr. X today, and Dr. X was having a problem during surgery, and I was able to help Dr. X solve that problem, get back to the surgery and that patient got the care they needed and they got solved and they had a good outcome. And I played a role in that. Imagine how powerful that is and how connected that team member feels. And, and you can do that in healthcare, you can do it in other industries, but connecting the team members to their real work is, is invaluable. Yeah, great. It's a great challenge, great reminder to our, our IT leaders out there. And it, it kind of reminds me of the JFK story down at NASA, right? He breaks off from the group. He approaches the, uh, 
uh, maybe you'd say the janitor, but and he says, sir, what do you do here? And the janitor says, well, I'll let you tell the story. What, what does the janitor say, David? Says, I'm sending a rocket to the moon. That's right. That's right. That's a, He saw his value in the overall value chain. And so, uh, powerful. But thank you for sharing. I know you've got a heart for for helping our next generation learn from, from you and, and your experiences and the, the good, the bad, the ugly. And, and um, thank you so much for taking the time and for fixing people, you know, your team, David. Hey there, I'm Ryan Becker, and I'm on the production team for the Inspiring IT Leaders video series. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up to help us grow and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Also, be sure to check out the Tech Whisperers podcast, where we take a peek inside the playbooks of the best digital leaders so that we can help you grow your career in tech leadership. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.